first aircraft arrived, BK-1, uh, came into Edwards, and we are the first nation outside United States of America to sovereignly fly the F-35 under our own jurisdiction, so that is where uh, the UK are autonomously operating the platform. It's capability that we've just never seen before. One, it's fifth generation, which means that it's stealthy, it can't be seen by enemy radars, and the suite of avionics, the way it blends everything together, again, ties what we term fused together um, in a capability that means that the pilot can do far, far more than he's ever thought he'd be able to before. 1970s technology compared to 2000s, and we've just got to look how far computers have come in that and it's taken on that generation gap. Uh, the technology available in this is, is game-changing. We take great pride in being a Battle of Britain squadron. Uh, with the 75th anniversary, it's entirely apt that we're standing up as we are introducing the latest platform, which will be the future of combat air, out to 2040-2050 for both the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy. This is, without question, a dream ticket. If you ask me, would I take this when I was a 10-year-old wanted to be a pilot, which is commanding officer of the RAS first Lightning Squadron and the most senior pilot flying it in the Royal Air Force, I, I just could not ask for more. Um, and in the squadron centenary year, it's a, a culmination which uh, dreams are made of.